to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. So in today's video, my voice is going away. If it sounds crazy, it's because it's going away. Um, but in today's video, I wanted to test out some new drugstore products. I don't know how new these are, but I got these sent to me from these brands. So I don't know if they're like new or if they just want me to try them out. I'm not sure. This isn't sponsored by anybody. I just like literally received these and wanted to test it out to see you know, what's popping? So I got some L'Oreal stuff, some Revlon, some Rimmel, uh, Maybelline, Pop Beauty, um, and those are pretty much the main brands that I was trying out today because I have a lot of makeup to test out, so get ready so for some more videos like this because I do really enjoy these videos of testing out new products because I think it's cool to know what products are working right now and what products you guys should spend your hard-earned money on, even if it is from the drugstore. I think it is important to know what products worked and what products didn't work so if you want to see my full thoughts on all these goodies that I tested out like some palettes some contour kits um, a little like beauty blender sponge um, then make sure to stay tuned because I will give my full opinion on everything at the end of the video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below so you guys can get notified anytime I upload a new video and turn on the notification button as well and I'll have all my social media links here for you guys to follow me on and yeah, let's just get right into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a bare clean face, and I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I usually never do my eyebrows on camera. It's just like not who I am, but I wanted to test out this new eyebrow product from L'Oreal. I'll have all the names down below and also the prices on the screen for you guys to see how much each product is in case you guys are interested. But I'm just going to lightly fill in my eyebrows. You guys, I'm not the best at my eyebrows. I already know. No one needs to remind me of that, trust me, it's just a struggle because the inner part of my eyebrows have no color. So it's really, really hard to get color to be there, but I actually ended up kind of liking this. I have been using this like every single day since this video. Um, some days I have good eyebrow days, some days I don't, but I do think it's like way better than using black eyeshadow like I used to use. <laughs> um, so for foundation, I'm going to take this Revlon Youth Fix Foundation, I think it's called. And I'm going to take this on this L'Oreal like beauty blender type thing. It's like a sponge. I already used it once before. But I use it to apply a BB cream, not a foundation, and I just did something really quickly that I use, and I didn't really get to test it out. I didn't even wet it when I used it, so I actually did go ahead and wet this one, but as you can see, it does not expand whatsoever. It stays really, really small. I literally wet it for so long, you guys. You have no idea how long I was in the bathroom for, because I was like, why is it not expanding? And that was the biggest it was going to get, and so I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm just going to work with this and see what happens, and I really do like this sponge I guess you can call it the sponge for like underneath the eyes that was like perfect I was like oh my goodness I cannot wait to get the sponge again and use it underneath my eyes because it fits perfectly like in the corner of your eye in the corner of your nose you guys like see that it fits perfectly underneath your eyes so I was like if I'm ever gonna wear concealer I will use this to blend it out or to set my under eyes it was really really nice um, so here's a close-up of how the foundation looks like. It's not super full coverage. I did have to apply a couple of layers to cover any acne scars and any pimples and redness that I have. But to be honest, I really liked how the foundation was wearing out throughout the day. And even my boyfriend was like, are you even wearing foundation? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> um, next, I'm going to try this Pop Beauty setting powder. And it comes with a translucent banana powder and then a peach powder. I'm going to go in with the banana one. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes just to set any foundation that's there to make sure I don't have any creasing. I'm not going to apply any concealer because I usually don't wear concealer ever. Especially during the summertime. Like, it's just not who I am. It's just going to get all cakey and greasy. So I just skip concealer. You guys, this powder, wow. I was truly impressed by this powder. I 100% recommend you guys go get this powder. Oh my goodness. Very, very good powder. I've been wearing it every single day also since then. If you guys watch my snap stories and you guys know I use it all the time. Even the translucent powder is so good to set my entire face. But the banana powder, it makes your under eyes look so flawless. And I'm going to say this, I actually like it more than my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Like the powders from there. These powders are just very, very good and make your skin look so soft and smooth and just very airbrush. I don't know what it is, but highly recommend you guys get this powder. Next, I'm going to try this Rimmel like, contour blush kit type situation. I'm going to take the contour shade and I'm going to lightly contour my cheekbones, which turned out to be very orange, the color, as you guys can see. And I literally dabbed my brush into it. I didn't even like rub it or anything. I grabbed a little bit of color and you see all that color that came off and it's just 
it will it seemed very orange to me and it's not the type of bronzer or contour that I personally like to have I like to have a more like warm soft one um, so I did just kind of just try to blend it out as much as possible I mean it looks pretty once I blended it out but you guys just have to be careful when you first apply it because it is very orangey and a lot of product comes out with just one little tap so I'm just gonna blend it out and also contour my nose lightly I just kind of go on the sides of my nose and then underneath my nose and then I blend it out with a foundation brush also sorry if my voice is like dead it's like 7 in the morning right now and I'm doing this voiceover so I'm still half asleep so for blush I wanted to try this Revlon insta blush I don't know what shade it's in I'll have it down below like I said I want to try this out because I've been really try wanting to use cream contour because I feel like it looks so natural and pretty. And I was having difficulty applying this. Right when I applied it with the applicator, all of my foundation was ruined horribly. When I tried to blend it out, everything got ruined. Which I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so I had to go back in with the banana powder and some foundation and fix that. And I was like, you know what? I just feel like cream blush isn't just something... It's just something that I'm... It's not for me. You know? It's just... Mm. So I fixed my face because I literally had been so ruined by that product. And I don't think it was a product necessarily. I think maybe I'm just, I don't know. I just feel like maybe we're supposed to apply cream blush before powder. I don't know. So instead I went in with the blush from the Rimmel Contour Kit. And I love this blush, you guys. Honestly, this blush is so natural and pretty. And it's not one of those like cheapy blushes that look red or just like cheap you know like it was actually like a really pretty pink blush that I've been wearing constantly as well I think it's really really pretty so I just wish that the contour wasn't so orange that you guys could get the kit I mean I mean the contour can be blended out so I feel like maybe you should get the kit especially because it's cheap um so for highlights I'm going to go in with the Maybelline blush palette and I'm going to use a highlighter shade in there which as you can see is super popping I didn't have any new highlighters to try from the drugstore that I received um so I just wanted to use this one because I was like, you know what, whatever. Like, I'll do a highlighter video another day from the drugstore. So you can never go wrong with the Maybelline highlighter. I love it, especially because it has, like, a pinky tone. It's just so pretty. Do you guys see that? And I don't have any Fix Plus on there at all. So pretty. So I'm applying it on my cheekbones, tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, and then also the bridge of my nose. And we'll grow. For setting spray, I'm going to use this Pop Beauty setting spray. I've never tried it before and I actually really liked how it feel. It felt really refreshing on my skin and I wore this makeup all day long. I even went to go eat ramen in this. And it lasted me a long time, this makeup, so very impressed. Next, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Nude Palette. I love this palette. It's so pretty. I'm going to go in with this like light vanilla base and I'm just going to use that to set my eyes to prevent any creasing and have a clean base. Then I'm gonna go in with this light soft brown and mix it in with this like more like pinky brown, pinky nude brown and I'm gonna apply this into my crease and all over my lid. The look I'm going for today is obviously nude because it's a nudes palette. I do have four other palettes that they sent me and like three other palettes from like Rimmel and Revlon so if you guys want me to do a video using that I definitely will because there's some really cool colors in those palettes but for the look today I was just going for something kind of nude and simple. So that's why I'm just lightly applying this color there um, and blending it out. Then I'm going to take this darker brown and mix it in with this shimmery brown. It's like a shimmery brown with like gray undertones. And I'm going to use this to apply it into the outer V part of my crease just to add some definition. Because I am going to do like a cut crease type of situation. So I want a lot of darkness on the outer part of my eye to really smoke it out and give it a nice smoky effect um it wasn't super pigmented the browns but i was able to make it work and then i'm just gonna softly blend out the edges this looks so pretty this is like what i usually do on an everyday basis i usually just apply some brown eyeshadow into my crease and then blend it out and that's like my go-to look so i feel like this is a palette that i would use on an everyday basis because it has a type of tones that i like to use and the colors were nice and i had no struggle with them So now I'm going to take some concealer on the brush that actually comes inside the palette, which I really, really like. So I'm going to keep the brush and use it for this purpose because it is a great tool to use if you want to cut your crease. And I'm just going to cut the inner part of my crease because I was going to cut the whole crease, but then I was like, you know what? No, like 
I'm just gonna keep it a little bit simple and different. So I just cut the inner part of my crease with some concealer and then I'm just going to go in with some of the white powder that I use at the beginning to set my eyes and I'm also gonna set this. You wanna be careful when you're doing a cut crease because if you look up, you're gonna get the concealer all over the top of your lid and all over your eyes. So be really careful. I really loved how this cut crease looks and like fades out with the brown. I think it's oh, so pretty. That's why I didn't apply another color there. I think it looks pretty with the white. So for some eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with the Infallible Paints Eyeliner. I've never tried this before. And I don't usually like these type of applicators that are like felt tips kind of. I always feel like they're super drying and way too hard to work with. I prefer like the one that's like the L'Oreal Telescopic one. That one's so much better. And to tell you guys the truth, you guys, I was struggling with this eyeliner. Struggling because it was so dry. There was no juice in it. And I kept having to like shake it and shake it. And I was like, I don't know what to do at this point. Like, oh, my eyeliner turned out so bad in this video, which sucks because the eyes look so pretty. And I had big dreams for the eyes, but the eyeliner kind of ruined it. I tried saving the eyeliner by grabbing some gel eyeliner from Wet n Wild and fixing it, but it was too late, you guys. I had already started a wing with the felt tip, and the wing just, it doesn't come out sharp with that, honestly. I, I just wouldn't recommend this eyeliner, to be honest. I recommend the L'Oreal Telescopic one a hundred times more. And there was no way I could save this eyeliner, so that's why it looked so bad, which I'm just like, oh, God. I, I didn't even want to upload this video because of the eyeliner, but I was like, you know what? It's good that I tested it out and it didn't work out, so now you guys know. I mean, at least for me, it did not work out. Anyways, for mascara, I'm using the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel, which I really like this mascara. It's nice and big and chunky. And then for the inner corner, I'm just taking this like shimmery white color from the Nudes palette and I'm just applying it into the inner corner and onto my brow bone highlight. I like how I didn't have to use any setting spray on the shimmery color. It's just naturally that pigmented. Do you guys see that? It's a very, very pretty color. So I'm just going to apply it into those places and then make sure to blend out the top so that there's no harsh lines. And then I'm also just going to smudge some of the brown eyeshadow I use in my crease and on my lid just to smoke out the line even more and connect it into the inner part. And then for lipstick, I was using this L'Oreal Pro Gloss lipstick, which I'll have linked down below. I wish it was more chocolatey and darker. It was just a little bit sheer, and it's supposed to be like a pigmented gloss. So I didn't really like that, but that's the completed look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hello.